Hacksters! Today we're taking a look at the AVT9152 Evaluation Kit from Avnet, which enables you to build low-power, small form factor applications enabled with narrowband, IoT, and LTEM technology, as well as BLE and GPS. Let's take a look at the specs first, and then we'll dig into this kit. The AVT9152 module supports both LTEM and narrowband IoT technology. It carries both an NRF52840 SOC and an NRF9160 system in package, both of which we've covered previously on this show. The module comes with global carrier certification for the NRF91. It supports power safe mode and EDRX. You've got security isolation with ARM Trust Zone. You can update the firmware over the air on both modules. And with UART, SPY, I2C, NFC, USB, and GPIOs, you can connect it to pretty much anything. Plus you have flexible options for your LTE antenna. You'll find this page linked in the description of this video, and it also has more information about the evaluation kit itself, which we're about to open up. The kit comes with a ton of built-in sensors, including a 3-axis gyroscope, 3-axis accelerometer, pressure, temperature, relative humidity, ambient light, and a passive infrared motion sensor. Over on the right in the accessories box, you'll find links to purchase the NRF development kits, which can be used to program this module. You'll also find this resources box, including a link to the quick start guide, which we'll be using in a minute. But enough talk, let's get this kit out of the box. Right off the bat, we see this paddle antenna for LTE and our power adapter for 5 volts. This has interchangeable connections for different regions. And of course, there's the development kit itself, underneath which we'll find the GPS antenna, some jumper cables, and a 10-pin J-Link debug cable. The board is very nicely labeled. Here you will see some pin correspondences with the Arduino headers. Coming around to the front, we see that familiar Arduino breakout pattern, where you can connect any shields you may already have. Here's the AVT9152 module itself, with its GPS antenna connector and 15-digit IMEI. You have UFL and SMA options for LTE antennas, and a jumper to choose between them. Here's the connector for a SIM, or an EUICC, which is what comes with this kit. It includes a free subscription for 3 months of data, or 50 megabytes, whichever one comes first. Here's that sensor module with everything we mentioned earlier, including a dome lens on the PIR sensor. And there's interrupt pins over here to connect to the Arduino headers, which we'll be doing later on. Here's your micro USB serial debug out port, and the barrel jack for your 5 volt power adapter. In addition, you have individual reset buttons and J-Link connectors for each module, the NRF91 and NRF52, as well as your NFC antenna connector over here. That concludes our tour, now let's run through those getting started materials. We're using the quick start guide linked in the description below. The first thing is to check out this diagram and make sure that all the jumpers are in the correct places. That looks alright, so let's move on. Next we're going to make some connections between the J1 sensor interrupt headers and the Arduino pins. Look for this diagram in the guide. Now let's put in our activated EUICC and attach our antennas. That looks good! So let's plug it in. Two LEDs illuminate to show us that the board is powered on. As described in the guide, I've created an account at avtdemo.iotconnect.io, and now I'm going to add this as a device. I enter the Devices tab and click Add Device over on the right, then enter the 15-digit IMEI from the sticker on the AVT9152 module. After I hit add, the device shows up in my list. Success! We can now go back to the dashboard view, and as soon as it connects, the circle will turn green to indicate that information is being received. There's also a historical data section, which we'll fill in after the board has been connected for a while. Data such as orientation, GPS, rotation speed, environmental conditions, and the motion detector will be reported here. While we wait for that to come up, I'm going to connect the device to my computer using the micro USB cable. This will provide a virtual COM port interface to send data to and from the terminal. I'm now able to see the application version, modem firmware version, and the IMEI on startup. The settings for connecting over the virtual COM port are also in the quick start guide. As you can see in the online dashboard, the board now says that it's connected and will be reporting sensor data over time. I've enjoyed getting to know this little kit, and I think that you will too. Check out the links in the description below for the AVT9152 evaluation kit, and be sure to share with us what you build. 